to lose his uh, melting ice cube. And I think one of the things we realize is it's not that effective. In a targeted way, sure, it can make sense, but I'm driven by data. We have a precision targeted strategy running this campaign in the same way that I would run a company. It takes a while as a newcomer to get your arms around it, but the more that I do, the more that I realize a lot of the way the political process is run as an assembly line is actually kind of broken. So we are doing things differently. If I knew the things that I do now when we started this campaign, we would be even further along than we are right now. But you learn from your experiences, and as a newcomer, that's also what gives me a fresh perspective, which is one of the advantages. Sir, do you get you get Earlier Tell me who you're with. Uh, okay. Um, you, you expressed concerns that there's a trap ahead of the 2024 election. Um, if voters in the Republican primary elect Donald Trump, would that spring the trap, or is that more aimed at like Nikki Haley? I think that I've, at this point, in very clear terms, in my recent conversations with Tucker, with Darren Beatty, with others, have, in podcast form, laid out exactly what I think is going on. I said it tonight, and I'll say it again. I think the establishment, including the mainstream media, including the donor class that spans both political parties, the broad establishment that I think effectively controls elements of both parties in this country, wants to narrow this down to be a two-horse race between Donald Trump and a puppet who they can control, to then eliminate Trump from contention, such that the controllable puppet becomes the next president. Joe Biden's a puppet for that same managerial class. Now, they've lost their use for Biden. The Democratic Party's brand has maybe been tarnished a little bit too much, and they're diversifying their puppet bets. And I think that one of those puppets is sitting right here in the Republican Party. And you don't have to reach far to say the very people who have propped up, the likes, the likes of George Soros Jr., you got Reid Hoffman, Founder of LinkedIn, the guy who's funding the very lawsuits against Trump, including those to keep him off the ballot, is one of the largest super PAC donors in Nikki Haley. So it doesn't take anything but somebody with, I would say, a basic level of curiosity to understand what's going on here. And I think that's an unacceptable outcome for this country. I think this has to be an American first candidate for players. And I refuse to let them fall into that, let this country fall into that trap. And that is why I will be in this race to the very end, because it's the right thing to do for this country. Yeah. I just want to say, first things first, I think uh, all the corporate media are wrong. I think the polls are wrong. I think, you're I think they're wrong, too. I think you're going to deliver a shock on January 15th. Thank you. My question is, with the Bitcoin ETFs 